Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Mr. Lawrence and in today's video I will show you how to get these 10 modded outfits. I combined 10 outfits from my modded outfits video so you will have all these cool outfits in one video. Make sure you listen to the important information in my intro. If you enjoy these 10 modded outfits videos make sure to drop a like and also subscribe to help me get to 150k. Don't forget to turn on post notifications to never miss any of my future videos. First I will explain how this video works. There will be timestamps in the description below for each outfit. Those timestamps will really help you make this easy so use them. Then I will show the components for each outfit. When you have all the outfits that you want you will need to do the transfer glitch. I will explain two different methods to do the transfer glitch. I will also show the workaround for next gen. Keep in mind that you need story mode in order to make these outfits. Then I will show how to merge your modded outfit. I also want to let you all know that you can't get all 10 at once cause you don't have enough slots. You only have 20 slots but you can still get like 7 or 8 outfits at once. Lastly it doesn't matter in which slot you save the component outfits, just make sure you save the component outfits for a certain modded outfit next to each other. Hopefully all this is clear now. If you have any questions just comment it down below and let's get straight into the video. By doing this glitch you will lose all of your saved outfits except for one. For these modded outfits you already need to have pink joggers, you can obtain them by doing bath and I will leave a video on how to do that in a pinned comment. You can also make these outfits with any other colored joggers but of course pink joggers will look the best. Then delete your saved outfits. You also need GTA 5 story mode in order to do this glitch. Now open your pause menu, go to online and swap or manage characters. Your main character has to be a male and your second character has to be a female. There are two screens that you can get, on next gen you usually get this one. Your main male character has to be in the bottom slot and we will create a new second female character in the upper slot. You can also get this screen, so the character on the left side has to be a male and your second character on the right has to be a female, otherwise it won't work. Create a new second female character and copy the rank from your main character. Then just load into online and make your way over to any clothing store. If they don't appear, find a new session and they will appear. I already made all the component outfits and we will start with the pink galaxy outfit from the thumbnail. This first outfit is optional, if you don't have pink joggers you can make this outfit to get the IEA badge on the modded outfits. Equip the first standard outfit and then go to the accessories. Now remove your earrings. Go to necklaces and purchase the white pearl necklace, number 11. Now save this outfit in your first outfit slot and name them like I do so you don't get confused. Then head over to the pants, sport pants and purchase the first one. Now go to the top section. Go to leather bomber jackets and purchase the gold SL leather closed. Then go to the shoes. Go to motorcycle boots and equip the worn Oxblood slack boots, number 20. Now make way over to the accessories. Go to earrings and purchase the BMW Deco earrings, number 40. Then equip the light woodland armored gloves. Now save this outfit to your second outfit slot. For the next component outfit we only have to change the top, so come over to the tops. Go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo closed field, number 38. Stay at the tops and scroll down to gun running t-shirts, then purchase the last one, so the blue digital t-shirt. Save this outfit to your third outfit slot. To start, equip the first standard outfit. Go to the accessories and remove any accessories that your character is wearing, like earrings. Now go to necklaces and purchase the white pearl necklace, number 11. Then equip the red and grey armored gloves. Now go to the pen section. Go to leggings and purchase the neon camo leggings, number 37. Then go to the shoes and remove your shoes. Now save this outfit to your first outfit slot and name them like I do so you don't get confused. From here go to the pants section then to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants. 
Now go to the shoes, boots and purchase the blue cowboy boots, number 64. Then come over to the tops, go to tactical jackets and purchase number 29. Stay in the tops and go to Bastiers. Then purchase the teal lace Bastier. Now go to the accessories. Go to earrings and purchase the BMW Deco earrings, number 40. Make sure that you're still wearing these gloves and then save this outfit to your second outfit slot. Moving on to the yellow outfit, first go to the pants and equip the spotted muscle sport pants. Then go to the top section. Go to biker cuts and purchase the patched darted vest, number 50. Then go to bikinis and select the black bikini. Now go to the shoes, then to motorcycle boots and equip the black slack boots. Then back out and open your interaction menu, go to health and ammo, body armor and equip standard armor. I forgot to show the gloves, but make sure that you equip the light woodland armored gloves, number 32. Remove your earrings and save this outfit to your third slot. Now we only have to change the top, so go to the tops. Then to work jackets and purchase the peach camel closed field, number 38. Stay at the tops and scroll down to gun running t-shirts, then purchase the blue digital t-shirt, so the last one. So here I will show it, go to the accessories and equip the light woodland armored gloves, number 32. Now save this outfit in slot number 4. For the next outfit first go to the pants, then go to utility pants and purchase the black battle pants. Now go to the top section. Go to biker jackets and purchase the fitted leather jacket, number 54. Then equip the black bikini. Back out and open your interaction menu, go to health and ammo, body armor and equip heavy armor. Now equip the light woodland armored gloves and the BMW deco earrings. Then save this outfit to your next empty slot. Now go back to the top section. Go to sport jackets and purchase the sea green puffer jacket. Then go to bastiers and select the teal lace bastier. Now go to the pants, sport pants and equip the first one. Then go to the shoe section, high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat boots, number 24. Now equip heavy body armor through your interaction menu again. Make sure you're still wearing these gloves and earrings and then save this outfit in slot number 6. For the green outfit first go to the tops. Now go to tank tops and purchase the Makathorn short crop, number 61. Then equip the spotted muscle sport pants. Now go to the shoes, then to motorcycle boots and equip the Oxblood slack boots. Now go to the accessories. Then equip the blue surgical gloves. Also remove the earrings and then save this outfit to your next empty outfit slot. Keep the same pants and shoes, then go to the accessories and equip the light woodland armored gloves. Now go to the top section. Go to polo shirts and purchase the navy liberty polo. Then 
see if this outfit is slot number 8. Lastly, we will just change the top. Go to the top section, then to fitted suit jackets and purchase the black boating blazer number 11. Then back out and open your interaction menu, go to health and ammo, body armor and equip super light armor. This 10 CEO vest will appear and then you can save this outfit to your next outfit slot. First go to the air racing suits and purchase the redwood racing suit. Then remove your helmet via your interaction menu and go to the accessories. Now go to gloves and equip the light woodland armor, it's number 32. Now save this outfit to your first slot and name them like I do so you don't get confused. Now we will make the green camo outfit. Go to the pants and then to leggings. Then purchase the orange squash leggings. Now go to the shoe section. Go to high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat boots, number 24. Now go to the tops. Go to designer sport jackets and purchase the stylized coffee puffer. Stay in the tops and go to bustiers. Now purchase the white lace bustier, number 17. Then equip the heavy body armor through your interaction menu again. Now go to the accessories. Go to gloves and equip the black woolen gloves. Then save this outfit to your fourth outfit slot. First we will need to go to the casino. Then get about 12,000 chips from the cashier. Now go to the top section inside the casino. Go to sport jackets and purchase the last one. Then go back to the clothing store. Go to the tops, then to bustiers and select the white lace bustier. Now go to the pants, utility pants and purchase the black battle pants. So the second to last one. Then go to the accessories. Go to earrings and purchase the BMW Deco earrings, number 40. Now equip the light woodland armored gloves. Then equip the heavy body armor via your interaction menu. Save this outfit in slot number 7. Now we only have to change the pants and shoes. First go to the pants and equip the spotted muscle sport pants. Then go to the shoe section, motorcycle boots and equip the warm black slack boots again. Make sure that you still have the heavy body armor equipped and then save this outfit in your next empty outfit slot. Now the pink white outfit, first equip the spotted muscle pants over at the sport pants. Then go to the top section, go to tank tops and purchase the Maka Thorn short crop, number 61. Then go to the shoe section. Go to motorcycle boots and equip the worn oxblood slack boots, number 20. Now equip the light woodland armored gloves again and save this outfit to your next empty outfit slot. Now we only have to change the top. Go to bomber jackets and purchase the yellow magnetics versity. Save this outfit in slot number 9. Then go back to the top section. Go to work jackets and select the peach camo closed field. Now scroll down to gun running t-shirts and purchase the sand rolled T, so the third one. Save this outfit in slot number 10. 
When you are at the clothing store, first go to the accessories and remove any accessories that your character is wearing, like earrings. Then go to gloves and equip the light woodland armor, number 32. Now head over to the pants. Go to utility pants and purchase the black battle pants, the second to last one. Now come over to the top section. Go to tank tops and purchase the Maka Thorn short crop, number 61. Save this outfit to your first outfit slot. Name this outfit Merch. Then go to the pants section. Go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants, so the first one. Now go to the shoe section. Go to high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat boots, number 24. Then go to the tops. Scroll down to work jackets and purchase the peach camel closed field, number 38. Stay at the tops and go to gun running t-shirts, then purchase the blue digital t-shirt, so the last one. Press square or X and save this outfit to your second outfit slot, this one is for the gun belt. Now go to tucked t-shirts and select the blue digital t-shirt again, number 75. This one is for the paramedic belt and you can save this outfit to your third outfit slot. Now open your pause menu, go to online, options and take the easy way out to force a quick save. When you respawn, open your pause menu, go to online and start creator. Once you are in creator, create a race, then select tutorial and accept this alert. Now open your pause menu again, go to online and choose or manage characters. So that's the first method. If that method doesn't work for you, you can try the following method. When you are in creator, create a race, then select land race. Now fill in the race details and take a picture. Now you will need to set the maximum players on 2 and route type to point to point. Now open your map and set a waypoint on the airport. This way you will teleport to the airport. Place down the trigger, take another picture and from here you will need to start placing checkpoints till the race length is at least 1 mile. Now from here test the race. Accept this alert, then open your pause menu, go to online and choose character. Now you will need to delete your second character, so your female character. From here, if you are playing on the old gen version of GTA, you can simply press circle or B to go back to story mode. If you are on the next gen version of GTA, hover over your second character and join someone in a different targeting mode. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave a link to a video in the pinned comment. Then accept this alert and wait till you are in story mode. When you are in story mode, go straight back to online. Once you are back in online, you will still have the outfit equipped that you wanted to keep. So go to a clothing store and save your current outfit in slot number 20. If you did everything correctly, the other outfits will also be transferred over. For all these modded outfits, you need pink joggers and preferably an outfit that has pink joggers together with the IA badge. 
If you don't have that, you can also use any other colored joggers or equip the IA badge outfit that transferred over and equip some pants on this outfit that you like. I always like the cargo pants. These look like white joggers and to get the joggers effect, equip some boots that will tuck the pants in them. When you did that, don't forget to delete the other IA badge component outfit. Now go to the top section and go to racing jerseys. Now purge the Viper Motocross, so the last one. From here, you will need to bookmark the clothing merch job from the pinned comment. When you bookmark the job, you will need to restart your game so it pops up in game. You can then find it through your pass menu under bookmarked jobs and then to missions. If you can't bookmark it for some reason, your friend can bookmark it and invite you to the job. Make sure that the host changed the clothing setting to player saved outfits and then he can start. Now press right on the d-pad twice and ready up. When you load in, make your way over to your apartment. You cannot see it on the map, but you should know where it's at. Now just enter your apartment. If it doesn't let you in, blow yourself up on the blue circle and when you respawn, you can enter. Now make your way over to your wardrobe. You will now need to delete the pink galaxy component outfits and save this outfit in slot 19. Now quit the mission through your phone. When you are back in online you won't have your modded outfit yet but now you can just equip it through your interaction menu. This specific outfit is also really cool because you can change the illuminated clothing style. You can set it to on, off, flash or pulse. Now go to the biker suits and purchase the blue biker suits. From here you will need to bookmark the job that's in the pinned comment. When you bookmark the job you will need to restart your game so it pops up in game. You can then find it through your pause menu under bookmarked jobs and go to missions. If you can't bookmark it for some reason your friend can bookmark it and invite you to the job. Just make sure that the host changed the clothing setting to player saved outfits and then he can start. Now switch your outfit twice to the right and ready up. When you load in, make your way over to your apartment. You cannot see it on the map, but you should know where it's at. Now just enter your apartment. If it doesn't let you in, blow yourself up on the blue circle and when you respawn, you can enter. Now make your way over to your wardrobe. You will now need to delete the blue component outfits and save this outfit in slot 19. Now quit the mission through your phone. When you are back online you won't have your outfit yet, but now you can just equip it through your interaction menu. Now go back to the clothing store, go to the pants section, cargo pants and purchase the sand cargo pants. Then go to the top section. Go to racing jerseys and purchase the downhill motocross. Now go to the shoe section. Go to boots and equip any boots that will tuck the pants in them. So just like this. Now start the bookmarked mission again. Change the clothing to player saved outfits then invite someone and start. Now switch your outfit twice to the right again and ready up. From here you will need to go to your apartment and then go to the wardrobe. Delete the yellow outfits and save this outfit in slot 18. Then quit the mission through your phone. You can now equip the yellow modded outfit through your interaction menu. For the next outfit we need the CEO vest. I will show you the easiest way to get it. To start go to this exact clothing store. Before we get the CEO vest go inside the clothing store and go to the back. First remove your top and then go to the accessories. Go to scarves and purchase the black desert scarf. Then go back outside. 
Now OP or interaction menu, go to preferences, map lip options, jobs and set stun braces on show, you should now see this job. Then register as a CEO, in order to become a CEO you will need to own an office. Go to management, style and look for the El Jefe outfit. So this outfit with the CEO vest and then start a stunt race on your own. When you're on this screen, quit the race. When you spawn back, run inside the clothing store and go into a clothing section. Then wait for about 10 seconds till it kicks you from this menu. Now retire from being a CEO and you will still have the CEO outfit equipped. Then equip the black desert scar via your interaction menu. Now start the clothing merch job. Change the clothing to play a saved outfits, invite someone and start. Now switch your outfit twice to the right and ready up. From here you will need to go to your apartment and then go to the wardrobe. Delete the black CEO outfits and save this outfit in slot 17. You can now also equip some gloves, let me know if you guys prefer white or black gloves on this outfit, then quit the mission through your phone. When you are back, go to the clothing store, then go to the outfit section, go to deadline outfits and purchase the green deadline. Now you will need to start the bookmarked mission again. Change the clothing to play a saved outfit, then invite someone and start. Now switch your outfit 3 times to the right and ready up. Then make your way over to the wardrobe inside your apartment. Delete the green outfits and save this outfit in slot 16. Now quit the mission. Now go to the racing suits and select one where you like the logos of. So purely look at the logos or stickers on these outfits and equip one that you like. From here you will need to bookmark the job from the pinned comment. When you bookmark the job you will need to restart your game so it pops up in game. You can find it through your pause menu under bookmark the jobs and then to missions. If you can't bookmark it for some reason, your friend can bookmark it and invite you to the job. Just make sure that the host changes the clothing setting to play a saved outfits and then he can start. Now press right on the d-pad once and ready up. When you load in, make your way over to your apartment. You cannot see it on the map, but you should know where it's at. Now go inside your apartment. If it doesn't let you in, blow yourself up on the blue circle and when you respawn you can enter. Now make your way over to your wardrobe. Receive this outfit in your first slot. Now quit the mission through your phone. When you are back in online, you won't have your outfit yet, but now you can just equip it through your interaction menu. Now go to the clothing store. Go to the pants section, then to suit pants and purchase the lobster slim fit. Then go to the shoe section. Go to skate shoes and purchase the red skate shoes. Now go to the tops and go to utility vests. Then equip the peach plate carrier number 43. Now make your way over to the accessories. If you want you can equip some gloves and also cuffs, I will only equip the spiked cuffs. Then save this outfit in your first slot. 
Now go to heist coveralls and purchase any of the last four, so one with a gas mask. From here, go to the beach and find a telescope. Run by the telescope and spam right on the d-pad, then equip the red outfit that we saved. Walk away and the gas mask will transfer onto your outfit. Now go to the mask store and save this outfit to your first slot once again. Then equip this outfit a couple times through your interaction menu. Now open your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created and start any mission. I will start a titan of a job. Start it on your own and wait till you load in. You should load in without the utility vest. If that didn't happen, you will need to restart your game and try that part again. Now go to the ammunition and save this outfit to your first slot. Then quit the mission through your phone. When you are back in online, go inside the ammunition and go to the tops. Go to vests and equip any of the last four. It doesn't matter which one you pick and then go to vest shirts. Now purchase the red band vest shirt. From here, start a job that you bookmarked. Change the clothing to play safe outfits, invite someone and start. Now switch your outfit once to the right again and ready up. When you load in, quit the mission through your phone. When you are back in online, get in a car. Now register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Then go to management, style, switch your outfit once to the right and back. Get out the car and you have the first modded outfit. You can now delete the outfit that's in your first slot and save this one in slot 19. For the first outfit we need to see Yo Fest, so make your way over to this exact clothing store on the map. When you are here, open your interaction menu, go to map lip options, jobs and make sure that stunt races are showing. You should now see this job. Then register as a CEO. In order to become a CEO, you will need to own an office. Now go to management, style and look for the El Jefe outfit. Then walk into the job trigger and start it on your own. Now quit the race. When you spawn back, quickly run inside the clothing store and go into a clothing section. Wait till you get kicked from this menu, this will take about 15 seconds. Now retire from being a CEO and save this outfit to your first outfit slot. From here, you will need to bookmark the job that's linked in the pinned comment. When you bookmarked the job, you will need to restart your game so it pops up in game. You can then find it through your pause menu under bookmarked jobs and then to missions. If you can't bookmark it for some reason, your friend can bookmark it and invite you to the job. Make sure that the host changes the clothing setting to player safe outfits and then he can start. Now switch your outfit twice to the right and ready up. When you load in, go to your apartment and then go to the wardrobe. Now delete the CEO vest outfit that's in your first slot and the green camo component outfit, then save this outfit in slot 18. Now quit the mission through your phone. We need the CEO vest again, so you can equip one of the CEO vest outfits and start the bookmarked mission again, but if you want a scarf on the last outfit, you will need this exact outfit. Then purchase the black desert scarf and equip it via your interaction menu. Now start the bookmarked mission again. 
Change the clothing to play safe outfits, invite someone and start. Now switch your outfit twice to the right and ready up. From here you will need to make a way over to your wardrobe. Delete the black CEO outfits and save this outfit in slot 16, then quit the mission. You can now equip your black CEO vest outfit. Now go to racing jerseys and equip the last one again, the Viper Motocross. Then you will need to start the bookmarked mission again. Change the clothing to play safe outfits then invite someone and start. Now switch your outfit 3 times to the right and ready up. Then make your way over to your apartment and go to your wardrobe. Delete the pink white outfits and save this outfit in slot 17. Then leave the mission. For the next outfit you can keep this outfit equipped and then start the clothing merch job one last time. Change the clothing to play safe outfits, invite someone and start. Now switch your outfit twice to the right and ready up. Then make your way over to your apartment and go to your wardrobe. Delete the pink component outfits and save this outfit in slot 16, then leave the mission one last time. You can now equip your modded outfit and you will now have 4 amazing pink modded outfits. Now go to deadline outfits and equip any of these colored Tron outfits. We will be able to get them all and I will start with the white deadline outfit. From here you will need to bookmark the job that's in the pinned comment. When you bookmark the job you will need to restart your game so it pops up in game. You can then find it through your pause menu under bookmarked jobs and go to missions. If you can't bookmark it for some reason your friend can bookmark it and invite you to the job. Just make sure that the host changed the clothing setting to player saved outfits and then he can start. If you now switch your outfit once to the right your deadline outfit will merge. Switch it once to the right again for the gun belt and once again to the right will give you the paramedic belt. Choose one of the belts and then ready up. When you load in make your way over to your apartment. You cannot see it on the map but you should know where it's at. Now just enter your apartment. If it doesn't let you in blow yourself up on the blue circle and when you respawn you can enter. Now make your way over to your wardrobe. Don't delete any of the component outfits, we will use them to make all the other colored Tron outfits. Save your current outfit in slot 19. Now quit the mission through your phone. When you are back in online you won't have your outfit yet but now you can just equip it through your interaction menu. You can also change the illuminated clothing via your interaction menu. You can make it pulse, flash or turn it off. You can make them even better by adding helmets, masks and glasses. You can do that with the telescope glitch. A lot of people always ask me how to get the galaxy mask so I will now show it for the pink galaxy outfit. First go to the clothing store, then to arena war outfits, bodysuits and purchase the pink galaxy bodysuit. Now go to a telescope, run by the telescope and spam right on the d-pad. Your character shouldn't look into the telescope, then equip an outfit with a helmet, I will use the pink bulletproof helmet. Walk away and the galaxy bodysuit mask will merge in your helmet. Now do the telescope glitch again, sometimes it fails but just try again. Then equip the pink galaxy modded outfit, walk away and everything will merge together. Save this outfit again and you can do this for all 4 outfits. They will then look like the outfits that you saw in my intro. Let me know which outfit is your favorite, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one, bye bye.